602 12 News, your local election headquarters. New this morning, learning how the campaign finances are looking for each of the candidates running for Rhode Island governor. And yeah, 12 News has learned that incumbent Governor Dan McKee is leading the way right now with a larger war chest than his other opponents in the Democratic primary. Kate Walsh is live in our studio with a look at the latest numbers. Well, Patrick and Danielle, these numbers were just released by the Board of Elections Tuesday night, and it shows that while the McKee campaign has raised the most money, Helena Folk's campaign continues to outspend the other candidates. So as of Monday night, the McKee campaign had $633,000 in the bank. Since July, he's spent $726,000 and raised $126,000 in that time. Our exclusive 12 News Roger Williams University poll found that McKee was most popular among voters, but when you consider the margin of error, Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea is really neck and neck with him. Her campaign had $363,000 in the bank, but she spent $525,000 since the start of July and raised just over $100,000 in that period. Rounding out the top three in our polls is former CVS executive Helena Folks, who has spent over $1 million since the start of July with $183,000 in her war chest still. Candidates Matt Brown and Daniel Munoz are polling in the single digits. Now, we're also looking at the Republican ticket. It isn't as crowded. Ashley Kayla spent $858,000 since July with $247,000 in the bank, mostly funded by her own money, and her opponent, Jonathan Riccitelli, reported less than $250. We have all the poll results right now on our website, WPRI.com, and we'll have much more with Joe Fleming in the studio in the next half hour. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.